I am a teacher. A teacher. Why would you sit here and listen to a teacher? Most of you have already done this for more than 10 years in your life. And this is a TED talk. It should be given by a scientist, a professional, an inspiring individual, someone who changes the world, and not by a teacher. Because teachers are people who haven't seen anything but school, university, and then school again, right? Teachers are those who can't. That's why they teach. They are those that provide a service to their students that none of their students has ever asked for. When I look at news about teachers, I find headlines like teachers said he'd behead and bury misbehaving students. Or teacher accused of writing focus on a student's forehead. I can hardly find the good news about education, the ideas worth spreading. Or if I find them, then they are in the local, local, local news. If we look at the depiction of teachers in movies, we find the bored and boring ones, the strict and spiteful, the mean, or the irresponsible and absolutely useless. There are a few good examples of teacher in the media, and they are presented as those who don't do anything but dedicate their whole lives to teaching and education and their students, and who don't only fight for their students, but also against headmasters and all the normal teachers. They are presented as the exceptions. Teachers like these create boundaries in our heads. And I understand that a story, especially children's and young adult fiction, needs some kind of villain, a grown-up that is useless, so that the children can shine. But what I don't get is that someone as inventive as Joan K. Rowling comes up with an old-fashioned school system, although she's able to invent witches and wizards and all sorts of magic. Here are the boundaries that these images create in our heads. An imaginary boundary between teachers and innovation. It might have been because of boundaries like this that I didn't want to become a teacher first. I tried 6T, it's 6, 0, 6T different other jobs first. I worked in journalism, I worked in the theater, and I even sold fast food by the side of the road. Still, I stayed intrigued with the idea and the ideal of teaching.